Good morning. Say good morning, Sir Frankie. Sir Frankie. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's kind of like my my um, dog Lucky who passed away two years ago. And that's how it made a spot for Frankie. Uh, he just, every time the camera was out, he was just like, mm. I don't know what that's about, but oh. I'll give him one of his little. You want your you want your little dragon? Oh, okay, that'll make him happy. Okay, so thank you for getting ready with me this morning. Telling you what, we've already been outside, did our little morning routine. I did forget to put on moisturizer because I wanted to get outside real quick before I got on camera before I get to work. So even though I'm getting things done, I'm trying not to be rushed. I wanna enjoy every minute of this beautiful morning. That's one of the handicaps with being sort of a type A personality. I'm not so much anymore. I'm probably a B plus personality now, or, or B minus sometimes. But I'm not a pure A personality anymore, especially because I'm working on it. Um, I'm just going to put on a little of my lavender water. This is not the brand in the bottle, remember? This was kind of nice. But um, when it ran out, I did not take the time to go see if they had any more, and so I just filled it up with water and lavender essence. Always... I always moisturize my face before I put on moisturizer. I'm using CeraVe. I put it in a little jar that I refill for my makeup table so I don't have lots of big stuff on here. All the way down the neck. I was taught this when I was very young, that anytime you put makeup on or moisturizer to put it down to your decollete and it hasn't probably helped much <laughs> so I'm just letting you know um oh that feels so good do you have your coffee hope you have your coffee so even though there's things I want to do I'm trying to stay calm and enjoy every minute See how I keep reminding myself? <sighs> okay, so I promised um, one of the viewers that I would do that makeup brush um, cleaning, what I, how I clean my makeup brushes. So, <clears throat> here's what I do. I start with a cup. Or you can use a glass. I, I like using a glass, but this cup made it really easy because it's just... It has a small bottom, so it doesn't, so I like a small bottom so it doesn't take up much room. Matter of fact, I probably could have used um, an old, an old jar like this, maybe. You know what, I might do that in the future. So what I do is, I put Dawn dishwashing soap in the bottom. Actually, I use, just because it's me, and I like overkill, at least a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. No, a half teaspoon, not a whole teaspoon, a half teaspoon. I don't know why I said a whole teaspoon. A half teaspoon, and that's quite a bit for the bottom of a jar. See, the bottom, this jar bottom is pretty small. Then I only put in as much water. See, I put this down into the Dawn dish soap. Squish it down in, not deep. Don't push the brush hard. I don't push the brush hard because I don't want the water or gook or soap, anything to get pushed up into this part of the brush because this is all compacted hair bristles and then they don't get compacted until they're or really attached until they're down in here. You can always prove that by sticking your Sticking something in there. This one's pretty good. So you only have to worry about this much. So that's good. 
this one, I had a brush the other day that, this one's pretty good too. Remember I had a brush the other day that went this far down and this was in the hair. So you just want to be careful. That's my point. Dawn dish soap, swish it around to where you know it's in the tips. Water, soap, oil, anything spreads. So then I fill up water, put the brush on its side and only fill up water halfway up. That way when I'm swishing around, it's less apt to get all the way in. Now, now that it's all soapy, I get under the water with one of these. You can use a bacon grease strainer. I've used that and I've used these. I don't use plastic, I like metal because metal has a better scraping effect, I think. And I have this underwater and I put this so that the water's flowing on it and I put this going back and forth, back and forth. Then I dip it into the soap again without overindulging, back and forth, back and forth. See how it's scraping the bristles? And if someone says, oh, it damages your brush. Well, that's why I buy inexpensive brushes. Now you saw how dirty these were, and now look how clean they are. I set them in my windowsill to dry. It was a sunny day. There goes arm number one of the dinosaur. likes that little guy so ta-da that's how I do it oh so that rinses out the soap and the makeup right and I keep doing it until I feel like that's clean enough so I probably do it I'm sure I did it three times and they smell good they don't smell like soap I think if it smells like anything It just smells clean. Maybe a tiniest bit of powder smell, but that's what they were used for. So maybe it's coming from down inside, I don't know, or up, up here in these hairs. But I can tell you as often as I spray lavender on them, I'm not worried about infection. Uh, I don't know anybody who's had it. It, it. I imagine it would be awful if they did. So, you take care of you. You do it the best way you know. And um, happy cleaning. But I think they look pretty good. And it's gentle enough. It doesn't spray them. Some people say, oh, it frazzles the, the ends or the hairs. Girl, I don't know if these are hair or synthetic or what. All I know is these are two of my favorite brushes. Um, and they're inexpensive, 423 LA colors. And this, I can't even read what it is anymore, I'm sorry. But, oh, what do you have? Oh, yeah, I'm so proud of you. Good boy. Oh, he brings me critters. Yes, he, sadly, brought me a baby bunny the other day. I was so sad. I was almost sick. All right. I'm going to have to make this a short video and get on it. Um, and return these things to the kitchen because I have to, well, I'm going to put on my makeup real quick. Um, Thanks for keeping me company. I love having company. Looks like I'm going to have to get some darker makeup for summer. I've been already spending some time out in the sun. And even though my face is pink as a baby rat, um, I think this color is Hi, baby. 
starting to get a little light. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, God, I love it. So even when I'm in a hurry, I try to enjoy makeup application because it's like having a tiny bit of a face massage. You know, and if I do it, I do it like clearing out my sinuses, the puffiness under my eyes, relaxing that furrow between my eyebrows. Because that's just tight muscle, tight muscle. Yeah. Releasing some of these fat wrinkles. A lot of this, you know, if you get Botox, you know, this is muscles. Practicing the second on a straw. These are all tiny. These are just a string of muscles. This, that's just age. <laughs> I don't think I've been practicing muscle anything on my neck. Except looking down reading, it's creasing. All right. Um, one, another tip, tip I want to give you is that um, I have I always have my sinuses. I always have a hanky because tissue has too many particles. But I also have a makeup bandana, and then I'll change it like this. So um, this is what I wipe extra makeup on. And if I have a makeup brush, I'll go back back and forth on this a little bit before I put it in the drawer. So I'm gonna use this new brush that I told you now. Let me see. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this to get some of the makeup out of my hair. Oh, I'm so sad. And for myself, when I don't double check, I want every, all of you to double check that you don't have too much makeup in your hairline. Because when you go out in public and you see an older woman with that in their hairline, it just seems worse and sadder than seeing a young person with it, right? Because it means so much when we get older. It makes us look like we have incompetence of some kind. So I would keep one brush just for that. Just clean so you can just go through. Right? And knock that off. Now I'm going to put some lipstick on real quick. Don't big deal it because by the time you do that, it lines it for you perfectly. Remember, don't come to the corners. Leave those open because when these wrinkles, if you have wrinkles like I do here, it gets here and it just looks like an old person getting that makeup all smeared off into the side. Just sad. Very sad. Um, next. Blush. A little bit of blush. This is my lipstick in this container, remember? Yeah. I'm just going to put it up high today. And I'm just going to put a little color here. I know, it looks like a mess. That's okay. It's okay if it's a mess. Nobody really cares. <laughs> as long as I don't look like I did it by accident. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to put, see, some here. Because I'm going to be on camera, so my neck needs to... I don't put it here because it's already pink there for some reason. Probably a lot of sun exposure. Put it here, and I'm already red here. Right? See how it just sort of blends in? Put it on my ears. I don't have to put any here because I'm already pink there. Matter of fact, sometimes I put extra coverage there. Close her up, close her up. Eyeliner. Wetting my dark, dark eyeshadow to make my eyeliner. I'm gonna re 
real big hurry. Making it fun because you're keeping me company. And ah, uh, when I said don't go too far over, I didn't mean don't complete your lip. I can hear my great-great-grandmother right now. She was alive when I was little. Thank God. I lived with her for a while in Burlington, Iowa. When I was a little, very young. And uh, she would say, haste makes waste. We need eyeliner. I need eyeliner more than anything. You know, I was watching some makeup videos and was subscribing to some of, of them because they have so much to teach. And what I learned is that, once again, what's good for one person isn't good for every single body. So when I suggest something, you know, it's worth a try. But it's not like if you don't do it the way I do it, it's wrong. Because it's not. What it is, is fun. Don't take makeup too seriously. Uh, matter of fact, the less you wear, the less you have to worry about it. So, try not to worry about it. Um, I'm going to tell you. Eyebrows are important. But I'm also seeing where a lot of people are are showing close-ups of their eyebrows and and I'm thinking the colors don't match well enough to me on some of them or um, they might just be overdrawing them a little bit or underdrawing them eyebrows can be tricky I know for mine, it's been a challenge. And then I just get to a point where I'm like, dude, it's good enough. It really is. <laughs> dude. <sighs> ah. I'm doing double brows just for fun. Because I haven't been sleeping well. Uh, and I just figure it'll distract from the dark circles under my eyes. We'll see. And now I need to soften up my lips a little bit. Just a little bit with this frost. And remember, I don't like frost. Not too much. So little's going to go a long way. So you just have to make it look moist and soften up the harshness. Okay. A little eyeshadow. If I use gray... Real fast. Right, this, see how easy that is? Just putting it on the fat of my eyelid. That hooded eye, just on the fat. That's it, that's all I need to worry about there. And I'm gonna put just a tiny bit darker on the very fattest part of it. That's more than enough. Oh, what I was gonna say is, not everything everybody does is um, for everybody. There were several makeup artists or YouTubers who were using eyeliner on the bottom lashes. And I was thinking, oh, no, 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 no. Don't put it on the bottom. Uh, and you know what? It looks so good on them. I used to wear eyeliner on the bottom, the bottom half or third. Because I realized the whole bottom just made my eyes look small. Uh, but we might, you and I might experiment with it here one of these days. You know what? I was going to rush off of here and go do my hair. But I think I'm going to put it up in a clip and barely curl the tendrils or straighten them down. You have a great day. Let me know what you think about how to clean the brushes uh, tips. And I can't wait to see you soon. Mwah! Bye for now.